Hey now, what's going on? It's your favorite Auntie Mo. <laughs> and we are back. We are back. We are back for our all new season of Catfish. This is season eight, episode one, Red and Jaleesa. Y'all already know, if y'all have been with me through my previous cat show, I mean Catfish reviews, you already know. I'm finna give it to you, okay? I got a good one for you because I'm so excited for the new season, but church announcements as always y'all already know if you have not done so just yet please go ahead and subscribe to my channel like <laughs> come on now before you leave let me know what you think about this video okay give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and then hit that notification bell so you will know boom your auntie done uploaded some new doggone content okay now look here y'all this episode pissed me off for a number of reasons okay a number of reasons mostly because it kind of hit close to home but i'm gonna get to that in a little bit so hopefully y'all are ready for this review because i'm ready to give it to you so let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all. So this season, the friends and family of the person being catfished are the ones that are actually contacting the show to reach out to see if they can help their loved one find who the hell it is that's catfishing them, right? So before... Cammie Crawford is the new host of MTV Catfish. Shout out to you, Cammie Crawford. Y'all already know, Cammie is my bitch. That's my girl. She finna give it to you straight, no chases, okay? I love me some Cammie Crawford. So, y'all, this episode starts off with um, Neve contacting the girl, this girl named Janae, right? She is the friend of Red. Now, she wants Neve to help her because her friend Red has been talking to this chick named Jaleesa for, y'all wanna know how long? Just guess, just guess. I'm gonna give you three hard seconds. Now I'm gonna figure six years. Six years. No FaceTime. Post a meet up, the girl done flaked on her a couple times, and her, um, she only got a few pictures of her. Six years. You know what? Y'all, this is Red. Red! And I hope don't nobody take offense when I say this. She's a very handsome young lady. Okay? She's a handsome young lady. I feel like she would take offense if I was saying, oh, you, you know, you're so beautiful. She's a very handsome young lady. You can tell she is very shy. And so I don't feel like nobody needs to get catfished the way this girl got catfished. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, so the girl she's been talking to this whole time, her name is Jaleesa, right? So Jaleesa lives, uh, no, jumping ahead. Jaleesa is a hairstylist for Tamar Braxton. And she friends with Shekinah Joe. And she been talking to her for six years. Texting, talking on the phone. Ain't FaceTime her. Y'all, if this ain't the classic setup for a damn catfish, I don't know what is. And 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 Red seems like she's a very intelligent person. What, six years? Six years. Really? So Neve asked the homegirl, Janae, does Red know that she's contacting the show? She said she told Red, if you get on that plane and go to L.A. trying to find this girl, then yeah, I'm going to contact you. What had happened was Red's supposed to meet up with Jaleesa ass again. So Red done got her ass on the plane to go to L.A. to meet this chick that had already stood her up a couple times that she been talking to for six years she ain't never seen face to face before. You finna hop your ass on a plane to go meet girl... So, uh, homegirl Janae was like, look here, yes, as a matter of fact, she on a plane now, going to L.A., she probably already there, whatever's going on, but yes, my bestie needs some help, I need y'all to help best friend. Nee was like, you know what, I can smell this catfish from here, but don't worry about it, I got my homegirl Cammie, we gonna call homegirl, see what's going on, whoop de whoop yada yada yada. don't even worry about it, she was like, alright, alright, cool, I sure don't appreciate you, right? So, Neve ends up calling Red, right? What's going on, Nee? I mean, um, Red, like he called him his damn self. He ain't calling his damn self. What's going on, Red? This is Neve and Catfish. I got my homegirl, Cammie, here. We got your information from your homegirl, Janae. She said she being catfish out here in the streets. Like, what's going on? What's good? You need some help. She like, really? This is Neve? Like, yeah, this is Neve. Yeah, this is Neve. I'm here to make your day. 
you need some help. Like, what's going on? Red, like, you know what? Cool. Matter of fact, I can. I can damn sure help you. And he's like, shit, what's good? I got cameras and phones and searches. What's good? She say, I don't went to Kim Kimball's salon where supposedly Tamar's, um, hairstylist, Jaleesa, works at, right? Oh, and that's another reason. Back up a little bit, because I'm getting a little bit too excited. She went out to L.A., Jaleesa, supposedly, because she going out there to the salon because she got to do Tamar hair. So, she says, Red, she says she ends up going to Kim Kimball's salon, looking for Jaleesa. She go up in there. They like, we well, don't know who damn Jaleesa is, but we know who Tamar Braxton's real hairstylist is. And she work over here at this shop. Hold on, pause for the cause. So, anybody can just go up in the shop and find out, hey, you Tamar hairstylist? Yes, I am. Like, y'all don't need to be a little bit incognito with that. Niggas is crazy out here. You see what your president is doing. Red said, I'm on my way over there to the other salon right now. You can roll with me. You can roll out. Let me know what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, it's all good. Me and Cam and the crew, we meet you over there at the other salon. Don't even worry about it. We finna get to buy them this shit. She's like, all right, cool. So they get over there to the other salon where Tamar's hairstylist actually is. Her name is Trini. And I feel like I've either seen her or heard her before. I've seen her or heard of her. Anyways, she like, yeah, what's going on? So they meet Red for the first time, too. She was like, how you doing? My name is Trini. Um, I've been doing Tamar's hairs for years. I don't know who you are. She going off on Cammy for a minute. She about to get bucked with Cammy. Cammy like, oh, hold on. Time out. Do not pass go. Uh, emoji sign. We just here for her. I ain't got nothing to do with this. I'm one of the co-hosts. And she's like, oh, okay, tell me something. I thought I was going to have to, you know, put them piles on you real quick. She's like, no, but if you want to bump these ends, you can bump these ends while I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So Trini ends up telling them she don't know who this Jaleesa person is. She has been Tamar's only stylist for as long as she can remember for years. So she ain't got nothing to do with that. Uh-uh, she don't know what the hell is going on. So Nina was like, all right, cool, appreciate it. You got a little, you know, little... Hide away, steal away where we can sit down and we can rap a taste real quick, you know what I'm saying? Because we got to, you know what I'm saying, do a huddle real quick, talk about what the hell just happened. So they go in the back and they sit Red down and they talk about Red. They're like, Red, this is Neve, Neve, like Red, my nigga, tell me what's going on. How long you been, like six years? Like, what's good? Tell me what's going on. Red, like, I know, it's crazy as hell. Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you back, take you back all the way to 2013. Red says, first she had met Shekinah Joe. Her and Shekinah Joe have been friends through social media for a while, and then they started to text. After a few months, supposedly Jaleesa told Shekinah that she liked Red. So Shekinah hooked Jaleesa and Red up, and they started talking from there. Their relationship sort of took off. They talk, text all the time, talk on the phone mostly more than anything, right? Now... Red does say that Jaleesa has kids. Supposedly, she has twins. And one day, Jaleesa accidentally slipped up and said she was engaged. So, she engaged. She got kids. You ain't seen a half of ever in real life wretched out and touched her ass. But, I digress. <laughs> like my girl, Jamie's Corner says, I digress. So Red says once she find, found out that Jaleesa was engaged, she kind of backed off from her and started dating somebody else. Few months later goes by, they hadn't been talking. Jaleesa comes pop up out the blue like, hey, mm, hey, what's going on? I'm not with my dude no more, so what's going on with you? This half of Red breaks up with her real hashtag in real life, you can reach out and touch, girlfriend, for damn Jaleesa that you ain't never seen in real life before. What? So Cammy, like, why her? I got to know. You got to explain something to me. Like, why her out of everybody? This girl steady ghosting on your ass, steady doing you wrong, but why her? Red is like, they've made plans to be married. They've used I love you to each other. Like, they are in love, and so that's who she wants to be with. Now, Red also says, now that she's been there, she ain't, like, the girl ain't called her back. The girl ain't, like, texting her back, none of that. Basically done ghosted on her ass. And then on top of that, she was in a group chat with Tamar, Shekinah, and Jaleesa, and now all of them ghosted. Shekinah and Tamar done left from the group chat. Now ain't nobody answering her ass back. Now, she says, she's starting to realize something was wrong. Red, I'm on your side, girl. Believe me, I'm on your side. I don't feel like... 
none of this shit should happen. But at the same time, you look very intelligent. Girl, girl. So can me and Eve go off and do their little investigation like they do, right? First off, they search with the phone numbers. All the phone numbers that they have for Shekinah, Tamar, and Jaleesa, right? Now, two of the numbers come back um, as like the, what is that, the text app numbers, but they're from Texas, right? And I was like, oh, Texas. One of them came back as a landline number. I'm like, okay, Texas. How much of a coincidence would it be if it was Austin? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. So they do a Facebook search for the um, Facebook page that Red has for Shekinah. They look it up. Few friends on there, like 10,000 friends on there, not a whole lot, right? So they end up doing a Google search for Shekinah Joe's Facebook. Her real Facebook page pops up with the little blue certified ching, ching check mark. Now, Red, again, you are a very intelligent girl, okay? Like, come on now. And then not only that, let's take a pause for the cause for a minute. If anybody follows Shekinah Joe on Instagram, y'all already know, she interacts with her fans all the time. She gonna go live. If, if nobody else, I can guarantee you gonna go live every day and get on there with a fan or do some kind of talent or something. It's Shekinah Joe. She always on there doing something. So it's crazy. You ain't even talk to like Shekinah on the phone or FaceTime her. Houseway. Houseway. So they end up sending the real Shekinah Joe. Her Facebook, sending her a message. Hey, this is Nee from Catfish. We're filming an episode. Call it back at me when you get this message. You know what I'm saying? ASAP. <laughs> the ASAP. Call me back. So they then end up searching the Facebook page that Red has for Jaleesa. Few pictures on there. Not a whole lot. They then do a Google search for Jaleesa. Whoop. The fucking woo a whole nother thing shows up whole nother facebook page and it is more active on there she's a wife she's a mom and she's an artist nothing about hair whatsoever two little boys on there that are twins plus a goddess on there that's her damn husband so they were basically able to confirm like look here she got two totally different facebook pages for this shekinah and for Jaleesa, but we done searched the real ones, and these ones are official like a referee with a whistle. So the ones that she got are fake. So we know you ain't talking to Jaleesa, right? So they end up sending Jaleesa a message. She done call her back, but Shekinah ends up sending Neve a message back. It was like, what, catfish? What? I, I, I ain't catfish no goddamn body. What's talking about? Neve's like, no, hold on. Pump your brakes. Time out. Call me. I'll let you know what's happening, right? So she kind of ends up calling back and she like, you know what I'm saying? What's good? I got my homegirl holding the phone because I'm driving right now. I don't want to wreck this motherfucking car. What's going on? So Neve tells Shekinah, look here. We got this homegirl of ours named Red, right? She been talking to some chick named Jaleesa, who we think has been catfishing him, playing like she you and your homegirl Tamar and Jaleesa too. She kind of like, what? They like, yes, bitch, let me tell you. She got a whole Facebook page set up like she you. 10,000 subscribers and knowledge. She kind of like, bitch, you lying. Neve like, bitch, no. She done impersonated your whole goddamn life. Like, it's real out here, this goddamn YouTube. YouTube. Internet streets. <laughs> Social media streets. It's real out here, goddamn it. So after they hang up with Shekinah, they like, all right, cool. So we already know we've been catfished around this motherfucker. Let's go ahead, go back, meet up with Red, tell her everything that we done found out, right? So they go back, meet up with Red, was like, all right, sit down, strap seatbelt on. We been, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give it to you straight, no chaser. This is what's been going on, right? So we find out, whoop de whoop yada, 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 that ain't her. This is what we about to do next, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and call her ass. You know what I'm saying? The hell with it, cause she wasting everybody time. So Neve ends up calling Jaleesa. Neve is like, um, what's going on? My name is Neve. Um, I'm filming an episode of Catfish, and uh, I got your girl Red here. You know what I'm saying? We in LA. You in LA? Like, let's meet up. What's good? Home girl, like, um, I just left LA. My bad. I'm back in Texas, and um. I, I'm sorry, I'm back at home. He was like, oh, word. 
Okay, so you back in Texas, huh? Is that where you live? Is that where you live? She like, yeah, I live in Texas. Need like. Okay, so you know what I'm saying? I will, you know, we all here down in LA. We still here. You know what I'm saying? You left. So if you want, we can fly you back here with us. If you cool with that, like let me know. Y'all know what Jalisa uh Jalisa said. I mean, yeah, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? If y'all gonna buy the ticket, I guess. If y'all gonna buy the ticket, then yeah, I mean, I guess it's cool. I'll come back there. Oh, fuck. And he was like, oh. Okay, well, cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get on the phone with my producers. We gonna make it do what it do. And uh, I guess we see you when you flight land. Oh, back that thing up. Let me tell you what the hell to say before she hung up the phone, right? She was like, um, before y'all booked... Oh, wait, hold on. Forgot my phone. This this her phone right here. Hold on. Um, when y'all book the flight, can you please book it under Ashley Taylor and put that I'll be flying out of Austin? Uh, Austin. Austin, Texas, where I'm at right now. Girl, let me stop. I'm, 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 I'm jumping ahead. I'm too damn excited. Neve was like, um, I right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Ashley Taylor out of Austin, Texas, you say? Okay, T A Y L. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? I got you. We gonna go and arrange the thing. Don't even worry about it. They hang up the phone. They like, bitch, go to Facebook. Look up Ashley Taylor right now. She done put all her business out there. Who the hell she is? Like. First of all, the gall, the audacity of you to come off as entitled as you were. Like, well, if y'all want me to come, y'all gonna have to book the ticket. Really, Sway? Okay. So, they go and try to search for Ashley Taylor. Pull it up and there's 50 million Ashley Taylors in Austin, Texas. So, Neve was like, forget it. To hell with it. We know now that we can book her flight. We can get everything going. So, we gonna see this happen. Don't even worry about it. The next day, they get ready to go get Red so they can go to meet Jaleesa in the park, right? Red say, Neve, hold on. Before we dip, let me let you know something. I done found out who this Ashley Taylor chick is. Neve was like, what? Bitch, how you find that out? She say, look here. I went to Shekinah's friends list, right? I found her through the friends list. Come find out and look at the profile picture. And it's just like, it looks like a, a flower or something. So I looked in there, found a obituary or something like that with her grandmother's name on it. The name that you said was a such and such Taylor. That's her grandmama name. So this who the chick is. But ain't no pictures of her on there. I said, this bitch Red was a super sleuth, baby. She was on the case. She said, oh, I done been down, baby. We done been too long, too strong, goddamn. You're not finna do this shit to me no damn more. <laughs> You know Red was up all goddamn night. She wasn't going to sleep till she found out who the hell that was. So they get to the park to meet up with Jaleesa, right? Girl, homegirl came in with, she she came with all the shit shit. She came in with an attitude. She didn't give a damn what was going on. Now, now once again, I'm going to refresh your memory of Jaleesa. This who she thought she was talking to the whole dog on time. This is Ashley Taylor, who she really been talking to this whole damn time. Now look here. Homegirl came in with an attitude. She was on 10. She came in, kissed my grits, the darkest part of the crackest part of my behind. She don't give a damn. So, soon as she came up, baby, that damn Red was like, oh, my God. Are you fucking serious? Are, is this what we doing? Is this what we doing 2019 on in 2020? This is what we doing? Really? So, when she came in, um, Neve was like, how you doing? I'm Neve. You know what I'm saying? This Michelle. This this Cammy, my home girl. You know what I'm saying? This Red, like, what's good? What's popping? She like, hey, how you doing? So, Cammy's like, is this your first time in L.A.? She was like, yeah, it's my first time in L.A. And she was like, oh, really? I thought she was here before. Wasn't she here before? She's like, no. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you were here doing hair. Didn't I say no? She came in blazing with a whole damn attitude. Like, she had an attitude with Red. She had an attitude with Neve. Neve was like, look here. Okay, so we're just trying to figure out everything that's going on. You know, the whole Shekinah Joe 
the Jaleesa, the Tamar account. The damn, I should like, yes, me, 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 me. Yes, it was me, and Like, she had an attitude. I Neve asked, like, okay, so did she get help from anybody else? Or was she was like, no, it, no, not at all. And so Neve was like, okay, so this was all you? You did all this? She's like, uh, yeah. And Kimmy's like, well, you know, we're just trying to get an understanding of what's going on. She's like, uh, I'm not talking to you. I'm going to talk to Neve because he's a host. You'd help. Kimmy's like, hold on, la mom. Pump your mind like breaks. Actually, I'm the co-host around here. Max ain't here no more. You got Kim Crawford, chick. Get your shit together. We just trying to figure out what the hell going on. You over here getting all buck and buff in the chest. You need to calm your ass down. So Red finally speaks and she's like, why? Like, why did you do all of this? This girl Ashley was like, oh, you hopped in my DMs. You bunny hopped and hippity hopped in my DMs. I didn't reach out to you. Red is like, I didn't happen. Nobody, what are you talking about? Yes, you did. And Shekinah's. She was like, yes, yeah, so you not Shekinah. I didn't hop in your DM. So what? It don't matter. Like, she she didn't give no damn. She gave no, and it made her look so ugly. It made her look so foolish. It made her, she made herself look like a fool. She didn't make nobody else. If she would have came in so much more humble and, and sorry for what she did, they could see sympathy in her. But the way she came in, like Mustang Sally, girl, the audacity. Now, Kimmy asked her, how long have you been doing this? Because if you've been doing this for Red for six years, how long have you been doing this? She said she's been doing this since she was 12 years old. She's 24 now. 12 years old. Her ass been out here catfishing people in these got doggone streets. Are you serious? So Cammy is still trying to like talk to her and basically trying to reason with her because she was like being hella disrespectful. Cammy being cool on her ass. But this whole time, doggone Ashley getting pissed off. Finally, she's this bitch says to Cammy. Baby, this is why I love me some goddamn Cammy. Cammy said, look here, I ain't finna be too many more of your bitches. I don't wanna have to mop your ass because I just got this damn job and I got bills to pay. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna let your ass slide. I'm gonna let you make it because I got all these white folks around me and I ain't trying to go to goddamn jail on TV because I done mopped your damn ass. That's not what she said. That's what I heard her say in her mind. I got black to telepath. I know what the hell she said. That's what she said in her mind and in her heart and in her gut. That's what she said. But instead, verbally what she said, look here. You call me one more time, you call me bitch one more time, we gonna have some problems. I'm just trying to be respectful. You need to be respectful. But Cammy, I heard everything you said, sis. You wanted to maul her ass. I could see that on your face because homegirl was very disrespectful. Red even had to tell her like, look here, calm down. You being disrespectful to her. She didn't do nothing to you. Then he go, Ashley, this bird is all in my conversation. Baby Cammy, it's me. Well, <laughs> bok bok bitch, I'm here. What you gonna do? You don't want it with me. I noticed what Kim was saying in her gut. Kimmy, I already knew. I know what she was saying. So finally, they asked her, like, why did you do this? What was the reason behind all of this? Are you actually married? So you weren't actually married. She says, yes, she was married, but she got a divorce. Oh, no, she was married. She got bored. And so she decided to make these profiles. Like, girl, she was, she was pissing me off is me she was just being mean she was just being downright mean and being ugly and it was there was no reason for her to act the way she acted she made herself look real stupid on national tv so everybody goes calms down takes a snickers break because nobody was acting like their damn self at least she goddamn wasn't so they meet up later on have a nice little glass of water with some ice and shit in it we gonna calm down like some civilized folks in this good ass ac we ain't gonna be out here sweating and talk about situation you know what i'm saying so this girl goes from being a complete yeah, it's like she was being before to them getting there and she halfway apologizes. She's like, um, to you, I apologize. You know, I didn't mean to come off like that way. So if I did say something, I'm sorry. If you did, yes, you did. 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. But then she starts to cry, says that, you know, her mother is sick. She takes care of her mother. Her grandmother passed away. She's been depressed over that. She's depressed and she's got a lot of health issues. And so every time she would get sad and depressed, she would make a new profile and she would eat some chocolate cake or she would eat some cake or something like that to you actually starting to see a little bit of vulnerability from her. And that made you kind of like, okay, I see you now. I get you now. I don't understand why you would do that still. Girl, Cammie asked her, since you've been 12 years old, how many fake profiles do you think you have created? Y'all guess. Y'all just guess. Mm-mm. Nope. Higher. Higher. 3,000 3, profiles that this girl has made since she has been 12 years old. Catfishing folks out here in these streets. So if you done got a random inbox from somebody that's ripped up, nice looking, or with boom, pink, pop, pow, that was probably Ashley ass. That, you know what? It's somebody trying to catfish me now. You know what? I, we on catfish. I'm going to call your ass out. Dion the demon, stay out my damn inbox. Because I know you a damn catfish. You see this here? This ain't for show. I don't, stay out my damn inbox, boy. So then Red tells her, you know what I'm saying? The conversations and things like that that we've had, like, you need to just be who you are. Like, if you're this person that you are right now, we could have had a friendship, but instead she came off like a totally different person. Then we meet up and in real life and you got a whole attitude like you all the way crazy out there for what? When you the one that's in the wrong, you know what I'm saying? Like, so finally, Ashley does come out and say that, you know, she admits that she feels like she's bisexual. She doesn't feel like she's, oh no, she comes out and says that she's bi. She doesn't feel like she's gay. Like she was quick to like, Shoot that down because that's one part that I left out. When they were out there in the park arguing, like Red said to her, like, we made plans and all this other stuff. Like, do you have feelings towards me? She was like, ugh, no. Like, ugh, not at all. So that, again, was another defense mechanism for a whole lot that she got going on up here and in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, the girl was, she really had some problems going on. All BS aside, she really had some problems going on and she really needs some doggone help. So in the end, child, she basically goes back to being a B.I.H. and doesn't really apologize. Neva's like, okay, so we've got out everything that, you know, do you have anything else you'd like to say? She was like, nope. Neva's like, um, okay then. Well, uh, so she gives Neva a half-ass hug. Looks at Red and Kim, and Kim is like, all right, mm, bye. Walks off and leaves. Neve, they all kind of sitting there like, what the hell just happened? Are we in trouble? What the, did, 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 did we catfish, huh? Like, what the hell just happened? They all shook. They don't know what the hell to think is what the goddamn happened. So, y'all, we have the two-month check-in. Neve is checking in first with Red. Red says that she has not been with anybody since the whole catfish meetup. Anybody else that she does meet up with, they're going to have to come to her because she ain't with shits no more. She ain't trying to hear it. They do a follow-up with Ashley. She was looking even more of a hot mess. That follow-up than she was before, child. That damn girl. Um, The profiles are still up. Homegirl still out here catfishing people in these streets. She don't feel bad for it. She said it is what it is. Be careful out there. Y'all, that was the end of the episode right there. This episode was crazy. But Ashley, for you to represent Austin, listen here, just so y'all know, everybody from Austin ain't like that. We ain't all out here. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some bitches catfishing motherfuckers out here. But everybody ain't like that. I'm just saying, if y'all watch this episode, if there was anything I missed, y'all already know, drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's going on, y'all? Look here. If you like this video, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Comment on this video. All of that good stuff. And if ain't nobody else told you today, I sure enough love you and I sure enough appreciate you.